I played Jimmy, which is uh, Wild Bill's son, and basically, uh, like a bit of a wrong child. I've been involved in like, uh, like drugs and all things like that, and uh, basically, I end up getting involved in this in these drug with these drug dealers and. Uh, then I end up owing the money and a lot of bad things happen. But I'm I like, I've got this older friend in it uh, who I like, he's like, I try and be with him all the time and that like him, so. And Dexter was an actor when he was your age as well. What, what, what kind of advice did he give you? Uh, don't do anything that uh, stereotypes as a character and all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, he just, whenever, he basically said, whenever I need advice, just give him a chat and yeah. Now you're playing a little bit of a bad boy, aren't you? Tell us more. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing a character called Buzz, and yeah, he's a bit of a bad boy. Um, not the nicest of characters, but you know, there, there are a lot of nastier guys <laughs> in Wild Bill. Yeah, um, yeah, he just he, he hangs out with uh, the local dealers, you know, does does a bit of that, you know. But I think deep down, he's he is a, a nice guy deep down. You're an old friend of Dexter. What was it? How did he approach you then about this part? Well, there was another guy playing the part that I went up for, but um, he couldn't do it, so he asked me to do it basically. And I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. So yeah, that's how I got it. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, um, well, my part. Well, I'm a kind of a drug chemist, and I make these drugs, and uh, everyone takes them. Yeah, basically. And um, I hang around with the gang, but I'm kind of more transient. And um, when it kicks off in the pub, I don't get involved. Basically, I go home and have a cup of tea. So, yeah. so you're a bit of a weakling as well. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> How does one connect to a character like that then, like a drug dealer? Do, well, do you do you have to like the part that you're playing? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, any part that you play, whether you're evil or you're good, there's got to be something that the audience, because people do love evil people sometimes. But um, so you know, you can be likable. But you know, a bit of a cat. I think I try. I'm trying to go for that kind of vibe. You know, see if it works. <laughs> it must be lovely here, supporting your friend. Oh, it's so nice. When, we do, when you do this, it's sometimes it's difficult to sort of promote stuff. But Dexter is like one of my best friends in the world, and we've got such history together. To see him getting the applause that he is due and has been due a long time is lovely. I'm really, really pleased for him. A real, a real accolade. He, has he written this part with you in mind? No, I mean. Well, funnily enough, it's my big. I mean, my big brother hates me saying this, but my big brother's head of uh, um, child protection for Hackney Council. So I'm actually playing my big brother. And we, we, the character was called Gareth, but my brother's like, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. I get into trouble. So I'm just saying it on TV as much as I can. But, um, but basically, I was doing X Men First Class, and I had one day, and then we were just trying to work out what I could play. And it was either this, or I think there's. Um, there was a, a guy working on a building site or something, but it worked out really nicely because I just wanted, I was desperate to be involved. I'd hate that this film to be made without me being involved just because I'm not very nomadic and I love that idea that you can make films with people you love and you know that you, you get a history like, like we have with Matt Vaughan and Guy Ritchie and all those boys it's it's so nice to keep doing it with the same people it's really it makes you feel because it's yeah and it's a tr it's kind of it's kind of a trivial fickle business and so when you get that kind of bond with people it's just brilliant it's been really great and, and, and were you surprised by the quality of the script that Dexter had created no because I've seen a lot of the stuff he's written and uh I knew, I mean, he did it quick, you know, he did it really quick, he did it really well, and it's set in a, I mean, I love the whole Olympic thing, I think that's really cool, um, and I'm really, really, really so tough and proud for him, it's brilliant. Jason, lovely, thank you, and nice to meet you, thank you. I just had twins too, so I'm not even going to get to see the film, I've got to go do the 6.30 feet, I've got 55 minutes to get home otherwise. You are the, the lead character in Dexter Fletcher's de directorial debut. I am, yeah, that was a mouthful, yeah. <laughs> Um, tell, you, tell you more, yeah. Um, as you say, um, uh, I play the lead. His name's Bill, and um, he's just come out of prison after a, quite a lengthy stretch. And he goes to try and uh, reconnect with his family that he hasn't seen. They, they haven't visited him while he's been inside, but he, um, they probably stayed clear for good reason. <laughs> Dexter being an actor and now to sort of yeah. turn director, does that help you as an actor? Because he's potentially writing from an actor's perspective. So I mean. Yeah, it's been great working with him because um, 
I've known him more than 20 years and I actually tied it up but it, it's, a, it's a long old while and he's a, he's a great friend and it's been lovely to work with him he's, he's, he's a lot of fun yeah and, and what did you actually want to bring to the park what what connected you um, to your park um, it's the relationship with with his sons I think is, is the sort of the core of it for me and um, and yeah, that that really, in a nutshell, was it. There's just this relationship with his sons. I just thought that's a, a, a lovely story that, that needed, that we, you know, we had pleasure to, 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 to tell. Yeah. But how did you become involved with Dexter's, Dexter's Um I think it was like a, a Tuesday afternoon, and I got a call of Maiden saying, "Will you go and meet Dexter um, about a film?" And it was like, "Yeah, can I can I can I read it?" Um, so it's, I was reading it on the way, and then he just sort of said, "How do you feel about it?" I was like, "Yeah, great." I, um, yeah, it's cool, cool part. And he was like, "Do you want to do it?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, great, I'd love to." So it was one of those really bizarre afternoons where it kind of went from just a day of doing nothing and having a cup of tea to uh, ending up getting a part in Dexter Fletcher's film. So it was wonderful. Yeah. What was it that, that kind of resonated with you? Were the, are the characters sort of very well written because they're written by an actor? Yeah, I think I think as an you know as an actor you kind of really understand what the actor has to do. Um, to, to do the part and I think Dex really understood that as a director as well he, he was really supportive and he kind of he knows what to say and he knows you know when to push you and when to not and stuff like that and he kind of yeah he's really supportive and he brings all his enthusiasm for life and everything he does onto the set with him and it's just a great it was just a brilliant experience. Is it, is it inspirational for yourself as an actor at the beginning? Well, no, you, you're sort of doing very well in your career, I should say, but Dexter is, is a more seasoned professional. Does it inspire you to sort of keep going and maybe sort of helm your own project at one point? Yeah, yeah, I think one day I'd love to do that, yeah. Um, I'm still sort of learning and I, um, I always try to sort of watch what everyone else is doing on set. Um, um, the actors and the crew and everyone, you know, so you've got an idea of the whole thing and um, yeah, one day I'd love to do something, yeah. Well, I've known Dexter for a while. Um, we shot a film, Tristan and His Old, a few years ago. Um, so yeah, he mentioned this to me a while back, um, asked if I'd be interested. I said very, and uh, here we are. At the BFI Exactly, exactly. Wonderful. Is it great to see your friend as well, sort of doing so well with this film and getting a lot of um, critical acclaim? Yeah, of course. I mean, for me, the only question would be uh, how come it took him so long? You know, he's great. Um, obviously, you know, for an actor, he is an actor, so he's a dream director. Um, lovely, lovely man. Um, very, very talented and, yeah, couldn't have happened or be happening to a nicer guy. Did you, did you, does it surprise you to see him sort of helming the film and, and running the show so well? Did you have any preconceived ideas of what it would be like on set? To be totally honest, I wish I could think of some funny gag to say I was so happily surprised, but I actually knew, you know, I, I know him, I know what he's about, you know, and I know this is his world. So I'd have been more surprised had it have been an effort. <laughs> Thank you very much. See, I've bleeped, I've bleeped my own, I've bleeped my own experience. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome to the BFI. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. First read at Dexter's script. Uh, well, I was, uh, I don't know how I felt, but I, I was very excited at the prospects uh, of working on it. I really liked the character of Oxy. And then when I went for an interview with Dexter, we just got on straight away. We could talk honestly about the script, and that's very important when you meet a director. And it just seemed obvious that we'd work well together, so I was thrilled when I got on. And what was it that, about Roxy that you connected with and, and wanted to portray? She, she just, she was a lone spirit, really, sort of being battered around this very male world. And, and it was like she, she was caught in a place in life where she either continued further down a very dark alley or she sort of saved herself. And Charlie, who plays well, Bill, his character, shows us some love and they can share something, uh, sort of a mutual respect and kindness, which neither of them have experienced for a long time. And so I think both of their lives benefit from having met each other. So that was really lovely. And, and what was the experience like on set? Because Dexter's pulled in a lot fantastic. of favours with his friends. So was oh that a big family atmosphere? It was fantastic. And we were just talking about how cold it was. I think it was bitter, bitter cold. Uh, and, and I get really cold hands and cold toes. And I walk around with 
bloody hot water bottles stuffed down your wellies and in your gloves and uh, and only for Dexter. You know, he'd come on set and be all, yeah, everyone has a go and really bum everybody up and so he made it worth it. I play Steph, who's a teenage mum and um, she's in love, she's in love in the film. Um, she falls in love with Dean and um, yeah, she's just she's a great she's a great character really very strong you know she's not a victim which is lovely so how did you work with Dexter with building up the part um well I first of all I went and sat in a in a coffee shop and was just looking at how sort of mums act so they're very obviously I'm not a mother myself so I was checking out mums act and then it was just just that she wasn't because in real life, no one, if something bad happens, you deal with it. It's not, you know, it's not dramatic or anything, you just deal with it. And I think that's what the real, you know, how, what makes it real is that she just deals with what she has and she's quite happy about it. So. And women are so resilient. Yes, they are. Women are strong. That's it. And what's it been like working with Dexter? Because obviously he's an actor turned now director. Is, is that a joy for him to work with? Because he gets from an actor's perspective. Gets you. No, 100%. You nailed it. I mean, Dexter's director is incredible. Um, he's, you know, it's his debut, but there's a feeling on set like he'd been doing it for 50 years. And I think that's because he's a kind of actor's director. You know, he really understood what you were going through, your process, um, and your situation. And that, it, it was brilliant being directed by an actor because you felt like you were a way from blowing kisses at And saying how great he is. I should probably say louder now that he wasn't great at all. I hated working with Dex Fletcher. Um, uh, no, he was fantastic, you know, and, and the opportunity to, to be directed by an actor was really special because he fully understood you, he gave you time, and, and he, um, you know, is an experience time as well. It was great to, to work with someone like that. I've been doing it for years. So, yeah. And, uh, and you, you're, you're an actor that's worked on big budget films as well as independent films. How do those two processes of filmmaking processes compare? Oh, you know, I've been really grateful for uh, every opportunity and, 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 and I've enjoyed both processes as well, you know, small budget and, and uh, I guess higher budget films. Um, but really I think the, the greatest films are the ones that have a, a good script at their heart and, and also a team of people who, you know, who love what they're doing and, and are, are excited about what they're doing. So. Um, well, Bill had all of them, you know, and it was really great. And the fact that it's produced a great film is fantastic for Dex, and I think all of the cast just feel really honoured to be part of it, and that's really special. And I would, I would say as well that because some of the, the kinds of content becomes quite dark, because he's so enthusiastic and such a charismatic person himself, he must keep sort of the atmosphere on set quite lively. He does, yeah, he definitely does. You, you're kind of excited to go to work every day. You've got like. Dexter there being all right, you know, it was the first thing it was like it's 5 a.m. in the morning and Dexter like you can be asleep in the makeup chair, but Dexter coming in and bubbling in like really excited. So yeah, his energy sort of bled through the whole entire process and um, he kept us all going, you know, and uh, he's brilliant. Yeah, he's brilliant. So what made this the right time for you to helm your film? <coughs> to to helm it. To, to helm it, I don't know, 40 years in the business, man and boy as they say, I've been cracking that joke for a long time now and it and it just seemed like it was the right time yeah I mean I you know I had a story that was very personal to me and that came from an idea that was mine and I got a great writer who's got a great sense of humor and great heart and we kind of came together and, and it just seemed the right the right time really it's about time yeah. are you writing from a, 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 an environment that you know about and then that helps you create a, a narrative well I know I wrote about characters that I felt I understood I mean, Danny really took the story on board I kind of created the characters um, and I just started, there was a very simple promise was that there's a man who's a boy and a boy who's a man. And I think everybody kind of knows people like that. I'm sure you as a woman would say, I know quite a few men who are still boys, you know, and, but there's also a lot of boys who have a lot of adult responsibility, you know. And um, so that was really kind of the jumping off point. And then it was about where we set it and what kind of how we tell that story, how these two people come together and how they improve each other's lives. And that your old friend Jason. Jason, Jason yeah, 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 yeah. How, um, Have you had to call in on a few favours? Oh yeah, I called in every favour I had. You know, that was the, that's the way it works. You know, it helped me get the film made. I won't yeah, deny it. It, does, it really helps when you've got people like that that you can call and say, hey, come and help me out. Come and be in this film, and and they read it and they and they and they respond to it. And of course, the money people say, oh, that's 
good. You've got Jason Fleming, you've got Olivia Williams, you've got Ewan, you know, you've got all these great people. So it helps, it's the nature of the industry. And, the, and the directing, was that a wonderful experience for you? It was, because they, they kind of trusted me, which was lovely. They, you know, it kind of helped me get forward a lot quicker. And, um, and also, you know, actors have this kind of shorthand amongst ourselves, I suppose, that maybe we're not even aware of, but it helps just keep things moving. And, and we all had a real energy and enthusiasm for the whole project, and that carried through with everybody. And it's even here today as well, I think. Everyone's kind of excited.